Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about my new tattoo that I got. So, um, first of all, just apologies as always. I say this every video for not uploading very often. I had it, I had exams and stuff like that, and you know this um, this this channel came out of out of passion of being bored essentially and not having much to do. So when I do have things to do, I naturally just don't make videos because it was done. You know, I made this channel over. Covid and lockdown and stuff like that, and wanted to do fun things. That's why I don't upload very often, very anymore. Anyway, so yes, I have a tattoo. It, this is it. This is my tattoo. It looks fucking cool. Um. Yeah. So that's it on my arm. It it fits nicely. Um and you know, almost you almost can't almost can't see it when it's, you know, when I'm not showing it, you can see it a little bit from the front or if I'm walking, but I don't really walk, I don't really go out with just a t-shirt on very often, so, so a lot of people can't see it. Um, so that wasn't a necessary requirement, um, but anyway, so I'm just going to go through the whole process and kind of, you know, my thoughts and feelings behind it and stuff like that. So I've always wanted to get a tattoo, really. Um, I've always been interested into that aesthetic, that style, obviously. Um, being a bit edgier or whatever, alternative and stuff like that. Although that doesn't exactly mean anything because it's, you know, it's so commonplace nowadays that it's not a difference if you're edgy or not. So, um, so yeah, anyway, I was always attracted to getting tattoos. I always wanted a sleeve or something like that and, you know, when I was younger. So I finally bit the bullet and decided to get one. So the whole process was, obviously... Some places there's walk-ins, you know, you can get some flash um, artwork or something like that, or or maybe you can walk in and, you know, and they'll do something, they'll, you know, whip something up for you just then and there. Um, however, this wasn't, this was a booking, this was um, professional, if you want to, if you want to call it that, it was thought out. So, um, it was in, it was by the tattoo shop. Uh, mantra to mantra to tattoo, mantra to the actual a letter the number two tattoo, which is in Usley, London, West London, Hillingdon. Um, if you know that borough. Um, um, so they're online. They had a great portfolio online. I can remember if you see them online. Um, their website is a little bit like, a bit too professional looking almost. It doesn't. It looks a bit clinical. <laughs> doesn't look like a uh, tattoo a tattoo shop website to, to do the booking. But anyway, looking through portfolios, and as well, keep in mind, prior to this, I had looked at lots of other um, tattoo shops in my area, because there, there was a lot. There was about five, I think, to choose from. There was a there was one called Tattoo UK. Um, I, I don't remember the rest, but, 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 there, was, but there, was, there was a decent amount. So obviously you have to look through them. You have to make sure that you're getting the best in your area. You're an idiot if you don't. Really, it's it should be common sense, but people, it's not common sense ain't so common. Um, so you do have options. Make sure you're making the best one because at the end of the day, it's only going to be you that's going to be regretting it. So just look around a little bit, and then once you find the shop which generally matches the style and you're happy with, choose an artist for mine. I mean, maybe your one it has only a couple artists, but mine had, I don't know, five or something, six. I also did piercings as well, but I wasn't going to get a piercings. So anyway, email them. Um, it's all set up, you know, the, the, you, you just do a booking on the website. So you say which artist you would like, what style you would like, um, where you would like it, and also is it, and include references. So obviously my references was just an eyeball and and w with a needle through it. That's all I said. And I said, I like traditional, I like neo-traditional, li little bit of new school and stuff like that. Um, and sent over some, sent over some um, uh, uh, reference images, some photos online that I just found online. And, and then... And then that was it. And then I, uh, and then I, I said, what days am I available and stuff like that. And then that was it. So it was really, really easy. And yeah, I didn't even send an email. This was all done just on the website. Keep in mind. So I just said, you know, left arm, um, in in inner forearm, 
uh, inner, yeah, inner forearm of the left arm. Um, and then they just handled it all for me, really. I got an email back asking me what days I would be available. I said, um, available this and this and this, whatever. Um, that was the most I ever really had to interact with them and the most um, I ever had to do in terms of, um, in terms of like actually organizing this whole event. Um, and then, and then, yeah, and then I went down, um, rode down on my bike, got a bit lost, uh, cause it was a new area. I hadn't, I hadn't been in there. I hadn't been there before. Um, it was a pretty bad town. I didn't like it. It was a bit boring, but, um, the, the shop was there, you know, I, I pressed, pushed the buzzer, which was a bit surprising to me. I didn't, I mean, I guess it makes sense. You can just walk in, I guess if it's a, got quite high expensive in you know expensive equipment and the everyone knows what a tattoo shop is you know um so i guess it makes sense to have a buzzer press the buzzer got let in the guy was called steve who was my artist top bloke i think he him and another guy called danny danny birch specifically um because i have him on instagram so i remember his name um they seem to be the best artists in my opinion they had a great um black and white uh, black and grey portfolio and also a colour uh, color portfolio which it seems to be uh, the biggest thing for me which was difficult to find a lot of artists didn't have a big colour portfolio they were all they were all specialised in black and grey for some reason obviously I wanted a cartoony kind of thing so I decided to go there um, so then and keep in mind as well the funny thing is I didn't know if I was getting my tattoo or not this whole time, I didn't know if this booking that I had made was just like a consultation meeting and we were going to discuss exactly what I wanted, exactly where I wanted it, and then he was going to go off and do the design. But no, then when I got there, he just, he, he lays, he lays a design in front of me, like, this is what he wanted. I was like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go do it. You know, didn't, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect at all. So, so that was it. Easy, easy. It was really, really easy. Nice guy. Went in, put the stencil on my, um, you know, quickly went over with the rays. I mean, it's not like I have a lot of hair on the inside of my forearm anyway, but, you know, went quick once over with the razor, put the, um, uh, put the stencil, put the stencil on, and away he went. So, first tattoo what was my, um, initial expectations. It hurt. It hurt more than I expected. Obviously, I heard that I, you know, everyone says that it hurts a little bit, but it hurt more than I expected. I don't know if that was to do with it being on the inside of the forearm. Obviously, this is a bit more of a tender area, a bit more sensitive. Obviously, it's like right on the. Although I hear that it, what hurts the most is being on the bone, not the muscle. But regardless, it was it's quite a tender area. You know, the sun. You know, you know, the sun doesn't see this bit of the skin a lot, and. Um, and neither does, you know, it's not like you get cuts and stuff like that. It's probably one of the most sensitive areas. So, because yeah, it never gets really any pressure applied to it and stuff like that either. So, so it did hurt. It was, I wouldn't say, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say the strongest pain or the most painful pain, but I want to say it's the sharpest pain I've ever felt. Um, so far, I don't, I've never felt anything sharper. Um, I don't know what the most painful experience I have, but it's not that. It's probably a burn or something, because I burnt myself really, or electrocuted myself really bad, but that didn't hurt. That was just, anyway, anyway, the sharpest pain I've ever felt. And I've been in some pretty bad situations um, in terms of pain and stuff like that. But, you know, I've got lots of scars and everything. Sharpest pain I think I've ever felt. Obviously, my first tattoo as well, that being considered. Um, however, like what you hear people say, you get used to it. There was times where, like, I would kind of, like, get in, get into the mindset and kind of forget about the pain. And then, like, ten minutes later, the pain would come back again. It's, it's strange. Like, like when he would move the tattoo tattoo around. If he, if he was, like, doing the shading of the eye right here. And then would do... There's, and there's some also... Um, yeah, if he, if he was doing the shading here and then would do the shading back here on the needle. I know you can't really see... But like, um, when he would move it, when he would move it around, it would hurt. You would you would feel the pain resurface again. That's what I'm trying to say, and um, yeah. So like, you get used to the vibrations, you get used to the pain, but it does still hurt, and you definitely do feel it 
um, like it, 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 it never goes away completely. Like you do still feel it. In terms of how I sat, obviously my first tattoo, obviously quite a tender area. I think I, I want to say that I sat quite well, but obviously I'm not the artist, and I wasn't, I was, I wasn't looking at it. I was laying down on a thing, and I had my arm out here, so I wasn't, and I was looking straight up. I wasn't like looking over or anything, so I didn't really see the whole process take taking place. I was just kind of looking at the ceiling, um, um, and I was still twitching. I knew I I knew I was twitching. I'm a pretty twitchy person in general. Like I'm pretty shaky. I can't I can't I can't, um, like I can't keep my hands like still and stuff like that. Like they're always they're always like a little bit shaky. You know. So I knew as well. This was the morning. I I mean I'd pretty woken up, I had my breakfast, had my dinner, uh, had had my sleep and had water and everything. I was I was um in the mindset to have my tattoo, you know, physically and mentally. But it, but I was still twitching. Um I was concentrating really hard to not twitch, but like there's only so much you can do. Um so you know, it, I mean, and when I say twitching, I wasn't like moving my heart. I wasn't having a seizure or something like that, you know. But uh, I, I could definitely feel like I would, or I would, I would have like a muscle spasm or something like that, you know, something like that, like that quickly tense it and so. And I was trying my hardest not to, but it, it literally, I just can't do anything about it because obviously it's all it's all involuntary. Um, I found, I found just not, not trying to not twitch helped. Just like I, w I would occasionally just like I would be so focused on not twitching, I'd then tense up, and then that would make me twitch more, and then that'd be worse. It, it's just easy. It's like with Tourette's, like you can't. Um, it's easier just to let it happen, and then and then you and then it'll happen less. If you try to stop it happening, you 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 get too you get too overworked on it, and then it happens more, and it happens worse. So it's easier just to, you know, take a deep breath, close your eyes, and just kind of like focus on something else. And just, you know, you, you, you're getting to it, you can't do anything about that. So it took about an hour, which I was quite surprised with personally. I was, I thought that was quite quick. Um, it took an hour and cost me a hundred pound. Um, it was 60 pound per hour and it was just, it was just under an hour or just under, oh no, 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 sorry. It was, it must've been an hour and a half then, um, 60 pound an hour, uh, well, you know. Around about an hour, about around about an hour and a half, um, because I was told originally it was going to be one hundred and twenty pounds, which I was fine to pay. It is a hundred pounds, so it was, so it was an hour and forty minutes, um, of me getting in the shop. Keep in mind, maybe we didn't stop, we didn't start till quarter past or something, quarter past or half past. I don't know, um, but 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 yeah. So it, so it was only at one hour of tattooing. I was right. Anyway. So that was quite surprising for me personally. It wasn't that bad. It didn't feel like an hour. It felt like a lot quicker than that. Really a lot quicker. Um, and I didn't have anything to do. I was laying on my back staring at the ceiling. I was just like listening to the conversations that was going on within the shop already. And I wasn't really talking to the guy that much. I, d I don't know. He, he didn't seem to be very talkative, which is fine by me. I'm not either. Um, so yeah, it took an hour. Paid him on my way. In terms of... Um, healing healing was a bit of a weird one for me so i went out and i got um excuse me i i meant to already have this but i forgot went out and got some um per uh, perfume free soap so i just got simple it's literally just a bar of soap there's nothing to say about it um this is what was recommended on the website specifically this brand it said non-perfume soap like this brand i was also recommended for a moisturizer afterwards the panthen or or and they, it has another it has another uh thanpanel or something like that it has another name i can't remember um which is quite interesting because i was you know it's a if you didn't see it's uh, it's for it's nappy care ointment so <laughs> Probably think I went when I went into the clinic or into the pharmacy. They probably thought I was a teen dad or something. Although I probably look a bit older than a teen at this point. Um, so this is my moisturizer, and this and they specifically recommended this one. Um, so I went to that, and that cost me six pound or something a little a little bit, and then that cost me uh, I don't know a couple of pounds, and it lasts. So. 
obviously wrapping cling film, had it on for six hours, I want to say, four, six, four to six hours, took it off, washed it. What surprised me the most about my tattoo is how much it hurt afterwards. You hear so much about, oh yeah, tattoos hurt so much, whatever else, whatever else. I guess it just didn't click in my mind. It hurts a lot afterwards. It's arguably more painful afterwards because it's so much more, because it's like, you really get to feel the pain. It's so much more tender. You feel, you feel it just so much more, right? Because you're not in that moment getting tattooed. When, when you're getting tattooed, the adrenaline is running and stuff like that. When you're taking it off and trying to clean it and stuff, it hurts really bad. It really stings when you first take it off the cling film, it's like, and it's like being exposed to like the, it, if you're a guy and you've ever had a beard and you've shaved and, and you feel like first water, you feel water, cold water or cold air for the first time in a while on your face, it feels like that. And that really overwhelming and sensation, it's kind of like that where it's really sensitive. Um, when you take it off and like it, and like it starts to air out and stuff, it really hurt. Um, and it, a lot of ink came out on the first and second day, which isn't supposed to happen the, the second and third day, really. But a lot of ink was coming out, and it was bleeding. A, a lot of blood and a lot of ink was, was underneath the cling film on that first day and second day, um, which was surprising to me because, obviously, I have no prior experience. I was bleeding when I was getting that, was getting that tattoo. I know that. I think that was also part of... It came out great, but like there was a, there's a, there's a couple blowouts and stuff like that. I was bleeding a little bit, um, and of course twitching, like I said. Um, I don't know if that's to do with the skin. I don't know if that's just to do with me. I don't know. Um, I wasn't drinking beforehand. You know, I was thinking because I know drink can uh, make your blood thin, but I was it wasn't anything like that. I don't think. So anyway, it healed pretty quick. Ex exactly how it said. Really, I was more. I was. Washing it, moisturizing it a couple times a day, wrapping it in cling film. That was the, so. That was the third, second, third, fourth day. Um, first day, of course, it was. I only did it once. What well, I only, I think I, I think I changed it twice. Once before, once after four to six hours, and once before I went to bed. And then, and then I was doing it on the other days. Once I got up. Twice in the day, and then, a, a, a fourth time. Before I went to bed, um, the third and fourth days were, were fine. Me, I was just washing it. It didn't. It was still hurting, but it wasn't bleeding. Wasn't losing any ink at all. Um, so it was quite strange, in my opinion. Um, maybe other bit, but then again, I'm just going off what I've been told. So I obviously what I was told by the tattoo shop. I don't actually know. Fifth day, and then I was just spent moisturizing. I didn't have the cling film. After that, it took about. A week, maybe a week, yeah, a week and a little bit to properly, because the skin is still very like scaly, kind of. It's like it's dry. It's a it's a scab essentially. So you're still so you're still moisturizing it a, a couple times a day, um, and it took about a week, which wasn't too bad, and it hadn't any negative effect when it was dry. It didn't really hurt anymore. It was just it was just dry, and you just have to still keep in mind when you're showering you can't soak it for too long i mean i only take showers but i like to take sh long showers and you know as well if you're like if you're like cupping it or something cupping water somehow you know you're not supposed to you're not supposed to soak it so that's another thing and you're not supposed to wash it as well because of perfumes or well, that's only in the first week when you're having a shower try not to wash it because it's not you can irritate it the cling film did start to suffocate my skin a little bit I started. I started to get started. Started to get tiny little spots just around around the ends. Really, it wasn't an it wasn't an infection or anything. It was it was like whiteheads, you know. Um, and and after a couple of days, they they went and they were fine and they didn't affect anything. It'd be important. Do not pop those because they can they can cause mores to come and also the pus is poison essentially. Like don't put that on your tattoo. That's an idiot. You're an idiot if you do. Um, and then it healed, and now it's completely healed. It's been a month and... Um, oh, it's been a month and exactly a week. I got it the 15th of February. So it's been exactly a month and a week. Oh, no, well, technically it's not, because it's not, it's not a full month in February. But whatever, you, you get the point. So yeah, 
this is this is how it was looking. It did. I think it did dull. You it said that online, like it was supposed to dull a little bit, particularly that gr the green in the eye and stuff like that. You can see it's quite vibrant now when it's on camera. Um, but it, it it definitely did dull a little bit, and also on the inside of the tattoo, the, all the white was put. The white um is dulled a little bit as well. It's still quite, it's, it pops still a little bit now, but I can. But on when I first got it, this the white. This bit was really like, it was like translucent almost. You could kind of like see my skin underneath it. It was weird, but I but it probably healed and that was fine, um, and it looks good. And so, yeah, like, I mean, in terms of the placement, I wanted it so whenever I wear a t-shirt, I can still see it. Like, I, w I wanted to be able to see it. Um, I didn't want it to be hidden. I know it kind of looks like that, but that wasn't the intention. Like, oh, first tattoo, i got to hide it. I didn't, I didn't care about it being on display or not. This is just where I wanted it. And I intended it. It wasn't too high up my forearm. I would never be able to see it. I wanted to be able to always see it, even when I was wearing a, um, a t-shirt or something. So yeah, that's been my tattoo experience. I'll probably do more videos, obviously I can say that there does have a meaning behind it and I can say a bit more technical, but I just wanted to say my first experience with washing and how I reacted and just everything like that. So um, if you're thinking to get a tattoo, I hope maybe this more uh, casual response can maybe uh, persuade you to get a tattoo. But there's no reason not to in my opinion, because if you don't, but if you don't want one, then you just get it removed. It's not that big a deal. People make such big deals about it, which I disagree with. It's just a tattoo, like, just make it small or make it somewhere insignificant, like the bottom of your foot. You can forget about that if you want to do. Or just get it removed if it's such a bother. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, if you're gonna get a tattoo, just don't commit to, and if you're on the fence about it, just don't commit to anything massive or anything super technical. You know, if you're doing a six hour back piece or something as your first, you know, first tattoo, you're not going to be very happy. Um, so yeah, that's been my experience. Um, if you had your experiences, if you have any questions, or maybe I can make a video out of another, about another topic about tattoos. Um, but yeah, I hope, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. So again, sorry for my absence. Uh, well, not really sorry, to be honest, because like I said, I do this out of what I, when I want to, and it's not a service. So yeah. Thanks for watching anyway. <laughs> uh, hope you su uh, subscribe, comment, like the video. Um, and see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.